we put a call out to students to submit their sample questions for IELTS Speaking Part 2. And today I'm going to listen to our first student, um, his submission, and provide some feedback and suggestions. Describe a place you visited that has been affected by pollution. Well, today I'm going to tell you about a place that was seriously affected by pollution. It is Vong Tau Beach and it is located in the south of Vietnam. Okay, so right away I have a suggestion. The IELTS question was describe a place you visited that was affected by pollution and the student said well today i'm going to tell you about a place that was seriously affected by pollution so these are very similar and you might think what's what's wrong with that well it's not wrong it's just that to get a higher score uh, paraphrasing can really help you so if you repeat back your first sentence pretty much exactly like the question, it's not going to help you get a higher score. But if you change it around a little bit to show off your vocabulary, it can help you a lot. For instance, he might say, pollution is a serious problem and the impact is visible even in places that people assume are clean. For example, I traveled to, and then he will continue and talk about the beach that he went to and when he when he went there and so on. Well, I had a chance to visit it about six months ago when I was taking my summer holiday. All right, so just one small thing here. It is very normal and natural to use phrases like well and you know, uh, native speakers do this all the time, but just be careful not to use them too much. A little bit is okay. And there was very good grammar here. He said, I had the chance when I was taking my summer holiday. He used different verb forms. He used them appropriately. It was very nice. And, you know, uh, this place used to be a pristine beach because not many people knew it. But after, but, but ever since it was developed for tourism, many tourists have spoiled it seriously. Okay, wonderful. There's a lot of great vocabulary here. That this place used to be a pristine beach. Not many people knew it. So great vocabulary, appropriate uh, verb forms. Um, the not many people knew it. it gives more information. I like that ever since it was developed for tourism. Okay, this is great. Uh, pristine, tourism, developed, these are all great uh, words to use to talk about the environment, the beach. When I think of pristine, I think it's perfect, beautiful, clean, which is exactly what I think he's going for. So well done. So he also said that tourists had spoiled it seriously. Now spoiled is a great word. Seriously is a great word, but he already used it. So I would change that to maybe severely or tremendously or just any alternative, just so that we don't use the same word more than once if possible. Well, the main kind of pollution that I saw in that place was uh, water pollution and land pollution. All right, now I'm going to have to pick on some very, very small things because the student is doing such a great job. I only have small things to comment on because he's doing such a fabulous work here. So he said the main kind of pollution, and then he mentions water and air pollution. So I would change that to the main kinds of pollution were, just to uh, make that more accurate there. You know, because when a visitor go to a beach. And same thing here. Uh, he said when a visitor go to a beach, so we'll just change that to goes, All right, Just a very small thing. And this happens a lot when students are nervous, so it's very normal. The first thing they want to do is to swim in the sea. And many tourists bring with them a lot of stuff, especially food. And after eating it, they just dump the package directly onto the water. Okay, so another small thing, um, he talks about dumping the package um, into or onto the water. 
So I might change that to dump the packaging directly into, into the water just sounds more natural than onto the water. You know, some of them also bring a lot of plastic bags to put their clothes in. And when they don't use these bags anymore, they just throw it away on the sand. So this is a good tip for everyone generally. Be careful when we're using the singular or plural. So if we're talking about it's probably a lot of plastic bags, uh, plural, then we should say they throw them away rather than they throw it away. Very small thing. But again, it's because the student's doing such a great job that I can pick on those little things. And these are very irresponsible acts and they can have a damaging effect on the environment. And one more activity that tourists often like to do is to eat seafood. And because of that reason, there have been a lot of seafood stalls um, appearing on the beach. And the people who sell the seafood here don't dispose of the waste properly. They just throw the shells on the sand and that also contributes to pollution. I think this situation cannot continue because it will have it will leave a very bad impression on the tourists, especially foreign tourists. Okay, very nice ending. He mentions um, irresponsible acts, damaging effects on the environment. Great vocabulary choices appropriately used. He also used phrases like disposing of the waste properly, contributes to pollution, talked about the situation that it can't continue. Um, very nice work, great way to end his talk. So overall, I would say this student did an excellent job. Um, he should be very proud, particularly of his vocabulary. Um, he had so many wonderful words and collocations that he used appropriately. His fluency, very well done. He kept the flow going very nicely. Um, no major hesitations, all very normal. His grammar was great. He used many different forms um, very appropriately. Only tiny little problems um, that I pointed out. So he did a really great job. And his pronunciation was very clear throughout. I could understand him very well. Thank you so much to the student for sharing his part two question. He really did an excellent job and it was a pleasure to listen to him. If you would like to share your recording, just check out the details on either our Facebook page or YouTube channel and you'll find out how you can submit your recording to us. And I look forward to listening to you soon.